Um, so I, I, I saw her sing at a wedding, at a friend's wedding, and um, I just thought, that's, that's that's the woman. I was like, when I heard her sing, I was like, who's that girl singing? And, and then I found out, I was like, okay, that's that's, that's the woman. And um, I've been trying to get, because we had mutual friends. Yeah. So I've been trying to make sure, I was trying to get that we, we met together. So we've been trying different trips. So we went to Wales, but she, she backed out in the last yeah, minute. Yeah, couldn't make it. She couldn't make it. I was like, ah. And then I think, well, twice actually. Yeah, you, twice. You backed out twice. Yeah. Okay, sorry. <laughs> she backed out twice. And, um, and then the third and one. And then the third one, we went to Alton Towers. And that was when we initially started to have a conversation. And so obviously I sing. So I was just asking him questions about wanting to do a, a music video. Which and, we haven't and... done till today. <laughs> <laughs> have... I keep reminding him, I want to do it. Yeah. But yeah, so that's how we kind yeah. of met and started talking. Um, so I came off the train. Um, and then... All I heard was, if there's a dummy cows on this um, on this platform, platform or something like that, can you please turn, turn around? around yeah. And I'm like, huh? <laughs> like, did I just hear my name? Like, yeah. that's not like that's not happening. Then I just kept walking again, and then I heard it again. Then I went to one of the attendants, and I was like, um, I can hear my name. Like, what what's happening? Have I left something on the train or something? It was like, um, what train did you come from? Then we kind of walked back towards. Yeah the train and you know where I just come, came off from and then all of a sudden I see him walking towards me and this guy with the camera behind him I'm like what is going on <laughs> what is going on what's going on and then he's just like pulling me towards like the main entrance <laughs> bit and I want you to make me the happiest man alive I want you to make me a husband I want you to make me a man that has kids with you I also want you babes to become my wife. I couldn't believe it and then obviously I had the surprise of literally friends and family you know from from all over the place from London from Leeds um, here in Manchester as well and I was just so shocked and I it was happening it was happening. I love you. <laughs> You're good. You're amazing. And I thank God for you in my life. Would you make me the happiest man? to be my wife would you make me the happiest man will you marry me <laughs> and my feet my legs were just shaking like i'm like what are you doing it was the most like amazing um unexpected experience ever and i i love every every minute of it yeah so that's, that was the proposal I decided, as Fran's birthday is Christmas Day, it was a bit of a rubbish day to have a birthday, so I thought we could have a half birthday party for her. Uh, so I thought it was perfect opportunity, it fell exactly on the, the 25th of June as well, so we sat at the half birthday. So things, I contacted the friends on the Messenger, set up a big group, and we went with a half theme for everything. So anything that we could cut in half, we did cut in half. I was absolutely mortified. Um, <laughs> I went outside in the back garden and everyone was there and they all shouted SERP rather than surprise because of the half theme. Something which I didn't even pick up on until hours and hours later when it was pointed out. I was so shocked. Mm. Um, so I got several presents that were all half presents, half cut in half cards, um, party bags that had been cut in half, stuck back together, all these sorts of things. And one of them was a copy of Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, but cut in half. All of my friends had written on the inside of it. They'd all written various messages, which obviously the second half was in the half that I didn't have, which I found incredibly frustrating because I wanted to know. They deliberately wrote very ambiguous things that they knew would drive me insane. Um, and your message was at the bottom, wasn't it? And yeah. Just no idea what, what was going on with this book. But I just thought they were all playing a joke on me because they knew it would wind me up. Christmas Day morning, we were all opening presents and I completely forgot about the other half of the book. I just thought, you know, maybe they were just joking and there isn't another half. Well, yeah, we, we got most of the way up this hill to get a signal. Um, and I had the other half of the book in my pocket, so wrapped up. So as Fran unwrapped it and opened it up, uh, 
I'd cut a hole in the pages of the of the second half of the book and put the ring box in there uh, and got down on one knee and asked her if she'd marry me. Yep. She said yes. I was quite surprised. <laughs> We, 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 we met on a, a online um, dating site about two years ago. Um, I worked, worked strange hours, so I thought I'd nip on a, on a dating site, see if I could uh, find the perfect lady, and I did. And we, we discussed um, uh, where the relationship was at the stage, and we said you know, would it, it would be nice to get married. As, as, a, uh, as a person, I'm quite shy. Um, when I'm at work, I'm, I'm, I'm quite loud and boisterous, but in, as, as, a, as a person, I'm not quite shy. So even though it was something that we had discussed, the, the thought of actually getting on one knee or, or doing it in person, um, it, it was so daunting. So I just thought of a different way of, of asking the question rather than being direct about it and make, turn it into a bit of fun. And we, we both went out shopping, we, we, we looked at rings, uh, went in jewellery shops and, and had, a, had a good look round. Uh, we, we found the ring that you, you liked, we found the shop that we were to buy it from. Um, but in, instead of letting Helen know that I was going to buy the ring, um, I made me excuses that I wanted to go to the toilet and, and, and made her go and buy me a coffee. Um, and as soon as she went in the coffee shop, I bolted back into the jewellery shop. The woman knew what I wanted, she knew what size I wanted, and it was all packed up ready to go. What you're not aware of is I actually went for the ring and the toilet, so I managed to fit them both in. Good job. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> in the morning I was getting ready to go to work, I was in quite a hurry, and uh, got in my car, drove off, got to work, and he said, oh, you can, you can open the boot and have your present now. So I opened it and there was um, a big bunch of red roses there. So I sent him a message just to say, you know, thank you, the lovely. And he, and he said, oh, there's one more in the glove box of your car. So I was like, right, okay. So I had to excuse myself again at work and then go back out to the car and I opened the glove box and the uh, the rose is there with the, the ring in the box and everything. I'm just tapping my fingers, waiting for the response, waiting, waiting, waiting. And about two hours later, he's asking yes. And that's when you, you text back, oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs>